This is Sitka, Alaska. No, I never heard that term. They, uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> they call it humpback. <laughs> they call them humpback because the, the males develop this hump in the back of the this is the Raptor no. Center. Well, well right not the center. Another, behind the center. Yeah. And there could be bears here. Grizzly bears. They have big grizzly bears in this area. A lot of bears. And that black mass out in the middle, that's all fish. That's a bear dropping right there, right? It sure looks like it. Wow. Evidence. That they are the crime, here. The scene of the crime. <laughs> They're taking fish from the river without a license. <laughs> A lot of them in there, they don't seem to be jostling around. They're all pretty yeah. content. They're so big. What kind of fish are they again? Salmon. Those yeah. are salmon? Yes, yeah, uh, there's five types of salmon. You can use your hand to tell you what they are. How? Chum for the thumb, sockeye for the pointer, king for the middle because it's the biggest, silver for the ring finger, and pink salmon for the pinky. <laughs> I used to do that on my tours. Mm -hmm. They said you can use your in any restaurant in Alaska. You can use your finger to order what kind of fish you want. Which kind tastes the best, and which kind are, do you normally? Don't, don't order a king. You might yeah. get a sockeye. Yeah, I was say. You, you might get a sockeye <laughs> instead. <laughs> that was the joke. The best one. Which one tastes the best? Yeah. It's a, it's a matter of preference, but in Juneau, most people agree that it's the king. Sockeye kind of like tastes the, the white king. Strong, right? There's two kinds of king. Sockeye is, is, I think, probably my favorite. It's usually between king and sockeye. That, that's generally... So coho and silver are also... Mm, they're just everywhere. ...desirable. Yeah. Wow. Is that... What do you... How do you think of the... the is that the consensus down here? Or? People are spoiled here. They all want king salmon. My wife is one of those. What kind of these again? Eat silver. Chum for thumb. Chum for thumb. Yeah. Coho is a silver, right? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, they're good. They're all pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, well, sometimes the way you bake them, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. But uh, I like the king because it's got a nice texture. Yeah. But the silver is good, too. Do you do any smoking? Nah, I I just have, have my fish smoke. Okay. Bring it to a, to a guy. Yeah, that's really good, too. The fresh smoked salmon is... Mm -hmm. out of this world. It's not dry like the stuff that you, you buy. It's really moist and just full of flavor. Like lox? No, not like lox. Like chunks of salmon that's been smoked. It's moist. Mm -hmm. make, make cream cheese, make a dip. It's really good. Lox is just kind of... Sliced. Sliced and yeah, a little... It's got more texture than lox. Lox is kind of gooey. Mm -hmm. It's popular where I'm from, this though. This is beautiful. This is, gosh. It, I want to just eat one. <laughs> it would be more popular where you're from if people could get it. It's you so could just stick your hand in and grab one. Yeah, you could grab one. They're probably already beginning their putrefaction process. Once they enter the fresh water, they start to decay and break down. It doesn't take too long for them. It's like they. Wait their whole life to die. Like that's the yeah. They wait their whole <laughs> life, then they come here and spawn, and it takes them about a week, and maybe two weeks. They start they start to get white, and you know they, their muscles start to the fins fall apart. Fresh water is not good for them. But they have an adaptation to uh, you know handle the osmo regulation and so forth. To, to exist Enough in both. to spawn, and and uh, and when they're born in freshwater, and they have a biological imprinting mechanism that nobody understands yet, that the molecular structure of the water gets imprinted in their consciousness. So when it comes time to spawn, they know they go exactly to the point where they were born, on the right exact stream, the right exact place. No one knows how, and they wow. spend five years out in the ocean, thousands of miles away. They come right all the way back up. These guys were all born here. That's why they're back. It's mm. amazing little eggs called fry. They sit, they hatch, and they swim around, finally go into the ocean, and come mm. back to spawn and eventually die. Now, now they're, they've made it. I mean, this is the goal. This is the, the mecca of <laughs> a salmon's life. I mean, they're all, at this point, celebrating. They've done it. It's 
successfully. They've made their pilgrimage. Yeah, the bear didn't get them. They weren't <laughs> eaten by a million hazards. Bear got one of them. <laughs> There's a million things that can go wrong. The eagles, the, the fry will get eaten by bigger fish. Hmm. <laughs>